and UST. As for the Blue Eagles, they hope to stay perfect. They're looking for their 10th straight win, if not lost in a while. And they have really gotten used to scoring win after win after win, but they do realize they're playing against their arch rivals. And in a rivalry game, anything can happen. So welcome to the third quarter between the Blue Eagles and the Green Archers and Kwame will miss and then the putback is good for 30 Ravenna and Ravenna now with eight points. Archers start with it in the second round, 17, uh, two games ago and 23 in their last uh, victory. Adrian Wong for three. Rebound, Malonzo. Malonzo really hoping to get his offense going in this game. Waki Manuel inside and he is fouled. The thing about Waki is uh, really knows how to use his body. Saka matapang. Yep. Oh, matapang talaga. We saw Waki Manuel play for Ateneo in high school before Manuel moving over to the sun in college. A mediator si Bo Belga. Si Bo Belga. Yeah. Siya pa yung naging mediator. <laughs> It is 38-31. Blue, <laughs> <Eagles. laughs> Blue Eagles on top by seven. Thirty Ravenna against Malonzo. Ravenna gets away. Ooh. Going fancy, but uh, missing right. the layup. Open on the strong side. Elected to go to the opposite end. And he will not deliver that basket. Could have been a nine-point lead for Ateneo. Rakot gives the ball up. Baltazar has it. Shot clock down to nine. Melecho. Pounded by Wong, Baltazar, shot clock down to five. And Malonzo, top shot, he gets his first two points of the ball game. With that jolly for Malonzo. Malonzo to Melesio. Melesio for three. Yes, sir! Aljun Melesio with a Vivo V17 shoot beyond limit shot. Melesio with eight points in the ball game. Four three-point basket for Lasalle once again created by that early push coming from Malonzo. A nice pass oh, yeah, by Kwame. So their lead was down to two. They extended to four points after that basket by Will Navarro. Domino's Pizza, what a delivery play. Surely Lasalle probably talked about the fact that even if Malonzo and Caraco did not score well, they were very much in the match, mainly through Encho Serrano, meaning they were in a good situation heading to the third quarter. That's a good look for Baltazar. Rebound, Malonzo. Again. And that would be a reach-in against uh, Adrian Wong. I like the activity of Malonzo after the halftime break. And if Checking out McDonald's, it's a replay. You see his motor always extremely active, but more than that, not throwing the ball away, taking better care of the basket, one in a result. Has been able to help reduce the last five points for the archers. Two free throws for Manuel and a three pointer for Melesio. Missed opportunity for Aljun Melesio. Oh, oh. play yun. So it's still a four point advantage for Ateneo with seven minutes remaining in the third quarter. Nieto. Over to Anch Kwame for the slam. Kwame! PS Bankable assist Swear. from uh, Matt Nieto for a PS Bank personal loan to my son. Apply online. No collateral. Ooh. And a swipe here. 30 Raven is on the move. 30 Raven all the way. Yellow cap end to end play of the game. The swipe by Matt Nieto. The slam by 30 Raven. And it's back to an eight point advantage. Win. Right. And then, of course, that forced turnover against Malonso once again. That led to that home run play, that highlight reel coming from Ravenna. Alonso has five turnovers in this contest already. Melesio slices Ooh. through. Karakut, he has an opening. He knocks down the three. Manolite Vision player Aljun Melesio finds Andre Karakut. Karakut now with five points. That's the first field goal of Karakut in this match. Two three point baskets in the quarter for De La Salle. But Will Navarro answers back. Navarro now with uh, four points in the ball game. Both teams finished the half with 10 points from the inside. And right now, the last six points of Ateneo have all come in the restricted zone. We're approaching the halfway mark of the third quarter. Karakut hit a three pointer earlier. Karakut inside, outside to Malonzo. Back to Caracol. That shot was challenged, but it doesn't matter. That's a three-point shot for Caracol, and he has eight points. 
back to back threes for Karakut. Nine points from the long court. And uh, this is the best three point shooter right now in the league. A 42% three point shooter in Andre Karakut. Missed by Wong, and a tip in is good for uh, and Angelo Kwame. And Kwame now with uh, eight points in the ball game. And that is also the kind of offensive game from the inside for Ateneo. Eight, eight inside points for Ateneo in, last, in its last four possessions. Alonso to Karakut. Karakut fakes, and he is fouled. This was the first turnover earlier by Matt Nieto. Cutting angle and uh, funneling. Itong si Malonso straight to that ball hawk play by Ferdi Ravenna. Meanwhile, Karakot, that's the first triple for Karakot, the second in the quarter for the archers, and then that will be followed by a throw, and then that incursion coming from Malonso. While for Ateneo, Latsan, two pointers, Latsan sa loob. Apat kay Ravenna, apat na puntos kay Will Navarro, at apat na puntos din, galing kay Ange Kwame. Elesha misses the shot, but uh, Jamie Malonzo picks up the long rebound. Eight to shoot for the Archers. Three minutes remaining in the third quarter. Karakut needs help. Shot clock down to one. Had no other recourse but to take that shot. And that's a shot clock violation against them. First personal foul against Aljun Melesha matched up against the uh, younger SJ Belanghel. As we approach the last two minutes of the third quarter, Mike Nieto to Belanghel. Shot clock reads 10. Belanghel pulling up, missing it, and Daves is fouled, and he will have a bonus free throw. That's a good start for Matt Daves. The first two points for Daves. Perfect position. Look at the strength. Look at the putback. 14 points all coming from the inside for Atene. Bartlett joins Serrano, Malonzo, Baltazar, and Caracol. Shot clock reads 10. Jordan Bartlett on the move. Over to Malonzo. Malonzo against Daves. Malonzo. Trepsy dude. It's good. Malonzo. That's gonna be good. Yamaha B on number one move oh, for uh, Jamie Orman. Malonzo. First personal foul against Matthew Daves. So far, no 20 point quarter in this game for LaSalle. If he needed the first 15 in the second. But Malonzo has come alive here in the third. Malonzo with four points. This quarter in their favor after losing the first two quarters to Ateneo. One minute remaining in the third period. That's Baltazar's shot. That's his spot. That's Correct. his shot. Okay. Minimal touch. The free throws coming up for Nieto. Looking for his first points. That's a simple face basket move. Well, yeah, Baltasar home. on point with that yeah, short corner yeah. conversion. It's a five-point lead for the Blue Eagles. Serrano open court. Serrano lob pass. And Will Navarro goes down and the ball will go back to the Green Archers. Serrano in a foot race. Unintended drop for Baltasar will be deflected. Bucket, and a bump by Matozzo. Navarro will uh, displace Navarro. Ooh. There's the hand ties by Encho Serrano and Serrano now and with 12 points. And that's a barrel of pace from Scotty Pippen on that Naco play. And Serrano combining with Carajot to lift the backcourt scoring for LaSalle. They're, uh, they are down, but only by three. Ten seconds to shoot for the Blue Eagles. Belangel inside. Belangel handoff. Navarro reverse. Oh, and again, an inside basket for Ateneo. Time and again, six in the quarter. Two seconds remaining. Uh, Serrano from half court. And the end of the third is the Ateneo Blue So Will Eagles Navarro and the Ateneo five, Blue Eagles five, managed to hold on three, to a five-point lead. After a furious run by the Green Archers, it is 55 for Ateneo, 50 for LaSalle. We'll be back with a fourth and final quarter.